Good day, learners. Welcome to our day one. Solving problems involving length. Which tool should we use to measure a pencil? Which tool should we use to measure the classroom door? When do we use a ruler? A ruler is short, usually 30 centimeters. We use it to measure small objects like pencil, notebooks, eraser, and pencil case. When do we use a meter stick? A meter stick is long. 100 centimeters or 1 meter. We use it to measure longer objects or distances like door, table, blackboard, and the height of a chair. Always remember, use a ruler for things that are small and use a meter stick for things that are big or long. Example number one. Anna's ribbon is 25 centimeters long. Lisa's ribbon is 34 centimeters long. What is the total length? 25 centimeters plus 34 centimeters. 5 plus 4 is equals to 9. 2 plus 3 is equals to 59. 59 centimeters is the total length of Anna's and Lisa's ribbon. Example number 2. A pole is 3 meters tall. The gate is 2 meters tall. How much taller is the pole? 3 meters minus 2 meters. 3 minus 2 is equals to 1. The pole is 1 meter taller than the gate. Example number 3. A rope is 45 centimeters long. Another rope is 30 centimeters long. What is their total length? 45 centimeters plus 30 centimeters. 5 plus 0 is equals to 5. 4 plus 3 is equals to 7. 75 centimeters is the total length of the two ropes. Always remember, we use addition to find total length, subtraction to find the difference, and comparison to know which is longer or shorter. Steps in solving a word problem. Understand, read, and know what is asked. Plan, choose the operation. Solve, do the computation. Check, look back if the answer makes sense. Let's try this. Solve the following word problems. Maria's pencil is 18 centimeters. One pencil is 25 centimeters. How much longer is one's pencil? A bamboo is 3 meters tall. Another bamboo is 5 meters tall. How much taller is the second bamboo? A ribbon is 40 centimeters. Another ribbon is 50 centimeters. What is the total length of the ribbons? The blackboard is 3 meters long. 
the table is two meters long, how much longer is the blackbird? A rope is 200 centimeters. Another rope is one meter, which is longer. Always remember, use centimeters for small objects and meters for longer distances. To solve problems involving length, understand, plan, solve, and check. Solving problems in length helps us in real-life situations like measuring clothes, ropes, doors, or rooms. Welcome to our day two. Solving problems involving distance. How far is your chair from the blackbird? We use meters to measure distances around us, like inside the classroom. One meter is a standard unit to measure length or distance. We use a meter stick for objects longer than a ruler. Example number one. The distance from the classroom to the canteen is 12 meters. The distance from the canteen to the library is 7 meters. How far is the classroom to the library if you pass through the canteen? 12 meters plus 7 meters. 2 plus 7 is equals to 9. Bring down number 1. 19 meter is the distance of classroom to the library. Example number 2. The playground is 25 meters from the classroom. The school gate is 15 meters from the classroom. How much further is the playground than the school gate? 25 meters minus 15 meters. 5 minus 5 is equals to 0. 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. The playground is 10 meters farther than the school gate. Always remember, use addition to find the total distance and subtraction to find how much further or nearer. Steps in solving a word problem. Understand, read and know what is asked. Plan, choose the operation. Solve, do the computation. Check. Look back if the answer makes sense. Let's try this. Solve the following word problems. Anna walked 10 meters to the blackbird and another 5 meters to her seat. How far did she walk in all? The flagpole is 30 meters from the classroom. The garden is 20 meters away. How much further is the flagpole? Ben ran 15 meters and Pedro ran 25 meters. Who ran further? The distance from the teacher's desk to the door is 12 meters. The distance from the teacher's desk to the window is 9 meters. How much further is the door than the window? 
Maria walked 18 meters to the library, then 12 meters to the canteen. What is the total distance she walked? Always remember, distance tells how far one place or object is from another. We use meters to measure short distances in school, home, or playground. Welcome to our day 3. Subtraction of one digit from two digits numbers on the number line and as an inverse of addition. How many candies do I have? If I eat four, how many are left? We will learn how to subtract using a number line and see subtraction as the opposite of addition. Subtraction on the number line. 27 minus 3 is equals to Start at 27 on the number line. Move three steps backward. You land on 24. So 27 minus 3 is equals to 24. 18 minus 4 is equals to Start at 18 on the number line. Move 4 steps backward. You land on 14. So, 18 minus 4 is equals to 14. Subtraction as inverse of addition. 36 minus 5 is equals to? Think what number plus 5 makes 36. 31 plus 5 is equals to 36. So, 36 minus 5 is equals to 31. 87 minus 7 is equals to blank. Think what number plus 7 makes 18. 11 plus 7 is equals to 18. So, 18 minus 7 is equals to 11. Let's try this. Use the number line to solve. Let's try this. Use subtraction as the inverse of addition. Always remember, subtraction means taking away or moving backward on the number line. Subtraction is the inverse of addition. If A plus B is equals to C, then C minus B is equals to A. To solve subtraction, use the number line or think of the missing addend. Welcome to our day 4. Subtracting one digit from two digit numbers with and without regrouping. 
How many candies do I have? If I eat eight, how many are left? We will learn how to subtract numbers in different ways. Subtraction without regrouping. Forty-six minus three is equals to. Write in expanded form. Subtract the ones. Add the tens back. Subtraction with regrouping. Thirty-two minus seven is equals to. Write in expanded form. But two is too small to subtract seven. Regroup. Borrow one ten from thirty. Now twenty plus twelve. Subtract twelve minus seven. Add back tens. Let's try this. Solve the following using expanded form. Always remember, when subtracting one digit from two-digit numbers, if the one's digit is large enough, subtract directly. If the one's digit is smaller, use expanded form and regrouping. Thank you for watching. Till our next mathematics lesson. Goodbye.